Hey, folks, it's Frithgar here. How you doing? Welcome back to Graveyard Keeper. Now, I'm just going to take all of these items here, and I'm going to drop them straight into the chests there. And we've got that one and that one have immediately started breaking down the various different items from the graveyard without any hesitation whatsoever. They're very industrious chaps. They're the very industrious folk. So we're going to let them carry on with that. Now, one of the big problems that we had in the last episode was that this fella up here at the quarry wasn't doing what he was supposed to do to start with. So I'm hoping that just by coming up here and seeing him, he's going to start doing what he's supposed to do. That guy is work efficiency at 25%. Uh, this guy over here is... I can't actually see what his work efficiency is unless I take him out. I don't really want to do that. So that like that one there is almost done there. Right, so now he's immediately working on coal. And we've got that one down there. And he's working hard. He's, he's busy working on that. He's at 28%. I don't remember what the guy in here is. But apparently that doesn't really make any difference. You can have that one quite low. And it's not going to negatively impact you. So the rest of this, now I'm hoping, is going to work okay. That, that, that one will keep going. And we can get some more zombies up here if we want to. In the meantime, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start walking back. And then we want to go and see the dude at the lighthouse so that we can get some more technology. We've got 145 points at the moment. We don't have anything unlocked there. We want to unlock... Actually, I could unlock that one right there. That was the one that I really wanted. Uh, I've unlocked all of that. Farming in nature. I could do the bee friend, the strong alcohol, those types of things. We've got the smithing over here. Smithing is something that I also want to be working on and getting some of those skills fairly soon. But I would rather go not into book writing. Uh, nope, it is in theology. I'd rather go in here first and get that one so that we can do some more upgrades inside the church. Which is going to get us some more money. Uh, uh, some more faith as well. Because I'd like to be able to start making some more um, bits and pieces for our... Um, graveyard and we need quite a bit of extras for that i'm just going to drop that one down there i'm going to harvest this tree a minute we'll jump over and go and see the dude at the lighthouse and then once we've done that there we go we've got another bee that was what i was hoping for um yeah once we've gone and seen the guy over at the lighthouse we can come back and um just sort of carry on i want to continue like emptying out the graveyard and and just the little things like that if i can one thing I do want to do, I may as well just work here while we're waiting. I want to wait for that one now to, like, finish out. So, while I'm waiting for that, if I work here a minute, I can pick these up, and I can bring them over, and I can drop them in there, and then our porter, who's coming along there. Right, what? This guy's on 28% work efficiency, so I could change... Actually, let me get him a minute. Can I get him? I can. I can take him. So I've, I've, I've left the logs on the ground. I'll bring him back up again. And I'll just see what the work efficiency of the other guy is. This one's at 25%. I'm going to leave the 25% guy. Right. So I drop, uh, drop you down there a minute. And let's see what this one is. Oh, he's 28%. So he's, he's actually all right. If he's 28%, he's just fine. So this guy here is also 28%. So I'll put him in there. And that's all we've got for him to, to carry. So two 28%ers in there. And then we'll put these logs over here like this. And he'll be able to carry them for us a bit later on. At least that's the plan. Drop that one in. And then I'll go and get this final one over here. And drop that one in as well. Right. And now we can go over to the lighthouse, and we can speak to you, and we can get some trade going on. I want to get that book right there. Yes. Right, I don't want to get the other book. The other book is just too expensive. It's not worth doing. So use that one there. That's 25 points. We've now got 70 points, which is quite a long way towards being able... Actually, the, the farming and nature stuff was kind of what I wanted to do next. I get that one there, and then there was the strong alcohol one there that we wanted. 
And then finally, there'll be the blending one up there that we'll get right at the end. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go and see the guy over at the quarry. Uh, not our quarry, the other quarry. And speak to him because I'm pretty sure now... Because I was told that I could sell the gold statues to the merchant. But that's no longer the case. We're not allowed to sell. We can't do that. So I reckon that gold and bronze quality statues are all now sold to the guy who runs the quarry over this way. So I, that's who I'm going to go and see now. Yeah, you got the guy who runs the sawmill right there. And then it's his brother who runs the quarry. Uh, it's over this way, isn't it? Sure. Yes, there he is. Right. This is the guy who runs the quarry. But I've got a feeling that we've got to um, build up our trade tiers with him in order to be able to get this. So we've got... Right, there's a bronze tier statue. There's no gold tier statue with him, though. So I'm not sure what we can do with gold tier statues, then. Because that's something that we're going to need. Right, I've got a... Items are locked until the vendor gets to tier 2. So I could say, I, I guess I could have my zombies pulling in stone. I could bring over here and sell to this guy on a regular basis. That might work. Um, I think selling to them also unlocks tier stuff. We'll have to wait and see on that. I'm not really sure what to do with that. I just picked up four honey and a bee there. I think the bee friend thing gives, uh, gives me more honey when I go and harvest them. Did I still get harmed? Sure. We'll see what we get from this one. No, I didn't get harmed. I got the beeswax, but I didn't get harmed. Right, well, that's good. And I don't think there's any more bees. But, yeah, we, we need to... Well, we did need to collect 20 bees in order to be able to get the beehives. But I don't think we need to do that anymore. I think... Uh, well, actually, I don't know. Um... It's whether or not we want the... It, the, the reason I say I don't think we need to do it is because whether or not we actually want to get the beehives still. I suppose I could have stopped at the farmer and gotten some more of these going so that we can start filling out some orders. Filling out orders would be a good idea. Look, see, we've got boxes of vegetables up here. We've got gold and silver ones. You can't use plain vegetables. You can't use, like, the, the, the ordinary ones. You've got to have the, the silver star stuff. Huh. Didn't think of that. Um... We've got some fertilizer. I could actually go and make more fertilizer. So then we've got more of these silver star things. We've got some gold fertilizer there. We don't need lots of that. We've got some of it down here. I'm going to... Right, i tell you what. First up, we will run over this way and we will improve the bodies. Then... Well, really, we, we're going to want a zombie working in here. I wanted to put some of these into the actual graveyard, but uh, I'm thinking that, really, we need, we need to do this first. So let's get the lie injection going on each of these. There, like that. Craft. And then we go to that one, and we select the lie injection and craft, and then that one there as well. We do the same craft. Right, so we've got those four busy working. While they're doing that, we're going to go back over here and we're going to harvest a load of stuff out of our garden. And then we're going to... I'm thinking we need more fertilizer. We, we need... But I think we only need the silver star fertilizer. I don't think we need to worry about actually going as far as getting the gold quality stuff. I've got a whole load of gold quality stuff here, mind. Uh, don't worry about that for a minute. Over a bit. Right there. No. Why are you not harvesting those? It's these here. I, I... Okay, we've got a bug. Nope, there we go. Now we can harvest. Beautiful. Absolute thing of beauty. That's given us some gold star pumpkins. We've got four gold star pumpkin seeds. Plus we've also got ten silver star pumpkin seeds. Then we've got ten more silver star onions. I got these two gold quality fertilizers, which I'll put on some more of those pumpkin seeds. And then we've actually got the gold star and silver star pumpkins themselves, which are not enough for us. Those can go. The crop waste can go. Yeah, see, now I've, I've, I'm, I'm running out of space. So we're going to go... I'll plant in here. We put that one in first. And then we go and we put in that gold quality fertilizer. There. And then I go in here and I put that one in. 
Like that. So then I can do... I'm going to do the exact same... Actually, no, wait. Done. And then I'm going to do the same thing again. I'm going to put the gold fertilizer in as well. Because that's the quality, not the time. After this, I won't worry about... Uh, I'll, I'll probably just put one in rather than putting two lots of fertilizer in. Because uh, otherwise it takes too long. And I'm not going to use the gold seeds yet. Or the other silver seeds. I want the, the better quality fertilizer. Um, and then the normal fertilizer, we're not going to worry about that too much for a minute. But what I will do is I'll come over here. We've got more of those down there. If I go to you, let's start crafting some more of this. Because we're going to need a lot of this, I think. And is there anything else we want? I don't think there's anything else we want to worry about at the moment. We've got nothing that we need to make there. Nothing we need to make with you. I took that one away. Let's go back into the morgue down here and we will get... Oh, there's our bishop. There he is. He's turning up for the day. And we will do this. So next up, we want to go for the glue injection. So put a glue injection on each of these bodies like this. And go to you as well. Glue. And then you as well. And we put glue in on that one. So those are now going to work through. I need to just run back out this way and first of all I want to find out how many pumpkins we need in order to fill an order. If it's 10, we've got it. If it's more than that, it's... Oh, I need 16. I might be able to do that. I might actually be able to do that because we've got some more back in here. Gonna have a look a second. We go into here. What do I want to leave behind? Uh... Oh, honey, 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 honey. We leave the honey behind. And then we go down into here. We've got two more bees that I can leave behind in there. Carrot cutlass. 49 of them. i got 33 pumpkins as well. Right, i got a pile of pumpkins. And i got a load of lentils. All of these onions. So we'll take the pumpkins. We'll leave the onions behind because the onions are used for the burgers. And we actually need to be able to make the burgers, I think. Wasn't it the burger? Yes. We need onions for those. We need the meat. And yeah, we've got those right there. So we can do gold star ones. And then if we get gold star onions, obviously that goes up a little bit further. Um, but there's a 20% chance there of getting the right ones. We do use four baked meat for this, which is quite a lot, to be honest. I got one raw slice meat there that I can get. Um, I tell you what. While we're waiting for this, we'll put in all of the baked meat that we've got here. We've got 24 of these. So we put all of those in a minute. Three, three, four. There we go. There's 48 baked meat. That's going to keep us going for a little bit. That's, that's one good thing. And right, now what? You want to head back down here. We've got praying to do today. I'll put another lot of these going in here. And I also want to be making some fertilizer as well today. And like I said, we're not going to do the gold quality fertilizer. I'll just do the silver quality because it uses a lot less than the other one. Uh, so there's that silver injection and then that one there. And then that one. See, I don't like having the tools thing. It used to be just a quick click. You didn't have to scroll down. Um, I like having the tools, but I'd like to be able to hide it in that particular inventory thing when, you, when you're going in between them it would be it would just make it's, it's just one of those like little tiny quality of life improvements that i think would be really good just the option to like hide it um no it was none of those yes it's here for right we got boost fertilizer and then quality fertilizer it's quality fertilizer we want we've got growth enhancer right there or two flavor enhancers to get the gold one it's only that one that we want, and then we need the peat compost. So we want to make more compost so that we can make this quality fertilizer. The boost one, I don't really care about that. I can leave that. So growth enhancer. Growth enhancer is the one that I want. I'm going to ignore that for a minute. I'm going to take you, and I'm going to head up here, and we're going to say some prayers. Oh, the other thing that I want to do is I just want to find out now what is required to upgrade to a candelabra. Th Ooh. We need gold jewelry for that. We don't have gold jewellery available. We can use Stone Church Shrine. We can use the sil the, the bronze quality statues for that. Uh, but the... Yes, yeah, so we can use two bronze quality statues for that. I think we've already used them, haven't we? I think that was the one that we used. Anyway, let's do some praying. 
Here comes the money. What are we going to get? It's 140. I also got, I've picked up two already, so I got like 19 faith altogether from that one. Here, we've got 104 faith so far. So let's just go and grab the cash. There we go, 1950 and 11. I don't know if that's more or less than I've had previously. But anyway, we're up to two gold 70. That's, that's the important thing. And I want to look in here. So, Stone Church Shrine is something that we've done already, isn't it? Or is that the Wooden Church Shrine? What is this one up here? That's, that's plus five for that one. Does it tell me? It doesn't... Oh, we haven't upgraded to the Stone Church Shrine yet. So we've got a space for the bronze carved statues. Spaces for those. Candelabra 3, we need gold jewellery details. We can't do those yet. It's something that we're going to be working on. We've got a little bit of gold that we can actually manufacture our own gold down here. I can't remember what it was that I needed here. It was a growth enhancer. Um, we've got a little bit of gold, so we'll be able to make our own gold dust for doing some of the stuff in here. But I'm not sure about how much of it we've got. Silver elixir, flavor enhancer. It's growth enhancer on here. Growth enhancer right there. Ash and life solution. Well, that's easy enough. Okay, I'll make... Uh, I'm going to make four of those for now. So that I keep some... Uh, one ash here just in case I want it for something else. Hang on a minute. Before I start working on that, let me go down here and we get these last two going. So I want gold injection. I think each of these now will have two red skulls. And there's nothing else that we can do to improve these after this. Do that there. And then you right there. Oh, yes, there is. I think there is one more thing we can do to improve those. Um, we take the gold. Uh, we take the blood and the fat back out again. So let me just work through these. We'll make four of these, these growth enhancers. And we've got enough compost here at the moment to be able to do those, which is absolutely brilliant. So then we'll have loads of compost, which we'll then be able to use in the garden and make some more orders. I want to send off one order anyway. We can only do one a week at the moment. That's all we're going to be allowed to do. So there we've got four of those for the silver quality, quality fertilizer. I'll do that like that. And we'll work that through. So we've got a really good use for the compost, turning it into the quality fertilizer. And this seems to be the best sort of version of quality fertilizer that we want to be taking. So I'll come back through this way a minute. I don't think there's anything I want to go and see Miss Pelt about at the moment. I do want to get a zombie and put him on there. Oh, I got 16 of them already. Jump up into there. I'll tell you what I'll do. I will go... No, I'll drop them. I'll drop that down in there for now because we don't want to be eating them. Absolutely don't want to be eating them. Uh, what's the next thing? Oh, I wanted to come over this way and craft right here. I've got one of those. So I've actually got, I can make two of them straight away because it's the flitches and, and so on. So I will make both of them and I will craft my way through there. So we can put as, oh, I don't have any energy. I'm actually going to go to sleep, I think. I would go to, s or should I? N no, I'm, I'm, I'm. Yes or no? No, I'm not going to go to sleep. I'm going to come down here and I'm going to put fertilizer in and put seed down. So plant right here. I don't want that fertilizer. I want that fertilizer. And then from there, I will put in onion seeds. And then we will plant. Put that one in. And then from there, we will. Nope, 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 nope. I had that right. That's onion seeds. I want to put in onion seeds in there. And I'm going to do the same on here. I'm going to go plant on, put that one in there like that. Done. And then I don't want to put cabbage seeds in. I want to put onion seeds in. Right. Three lots of onions. They're going to be slower growing than some of these others. These down here, you can actually upgrade them. I go to there. I can upgrade the quality tier there to a higher tier, which allows me to grow these better ones. Uh, but I've been told that they don't give a good return on the seeds because you can't use fertilizer on them. So do it carefully. You, you got to do that carefully. So we, we don't want to like burn up all of our seeds just yet. Now I'll do that right that a minute and then I will craft and I will craft and I will craft that one. So we've got more fertilizer being made and then we can go up here and we go to bed at long last. We do want to go to bed. We want to get some sleep. Some much needed shut eye. Grab up some of the meat here that is ready. And we'll stash that into the chest so that is ready for making 
yet more burgers later on. Still carrying my sermon around. I'm going to run down this way with the sermon. There should be now... Oh no, I didn't finish making them. So we'll have to go and finish making those a minute. And then we want to get... A well, actually, we'll, bring, we'll go and get a zombie right now. We'll, we'll create a zombie and we'll bring one up. Let's drop you there. And drop that one up as well. Those six maggots... What are maggots used for? Uh, I don't remember, so I'm going to dump them there and we'll see. Can we put maggots in here? Uh, we... Can we? Yes, we can. We can put maggots in there. So I'll drop a maggot. Oh, that's the life solution. Oh, that's useful. That is actually quite useful. Okay, so we're going to go to the environment table right there. We go up here, we drop in here, and then we take the blood out after we've done all of the other work. Like this. And that adds in another skull. We take that one out as well. We don't take the flesh out. The flesh will stay in these bodies. There we go. Autopsy. That is all done. We take this body. We bring it over here. We don't have any zombie juice, which means that we need to go and make some. So we run back over this way. And this is going to cost us 10 points. We just want to quickly make a zombie juice on here, which is that one there. We've got plenty of stuff to make a zombie juice thinking we might want a couple of these because unless we want to sell no Where, what could we do with gold quality statues i'm not sure what we can do with them anymore it, it doesn't look like there is any option for doing because the, the merchant didn't have an option so there is our zombie this fella here he's going to go working over on the delivery place I grab those there i can access this while i'm holding the zombie which is Excuse me, which is good. And we go up through this way. We also want to go up to Witch Hill and we want to see what's going on up there. If I go here now and I put him in on that station right there, work efficiency 28%. I'll go back upstairs. I'll see what I can do up here in a minute. Oh, uh, all right. Well, we'll just carry those with us. And we'll go back out here. We'll finish making these. Because it's the end of the day. I want to see the merchant today, I think. So if I just finish making these two crates right here. There's one of them. It's going to be lowered down. There's the next one. That's going to be lowered down as well. So we've got a zombie downstairs who's busy working. There's more zombies. They're both, they're, they're, they're both working industriously. They're both working hard. They're doing a grand job. They really are. So then we come over here. He's already got one. He's, he's on his way. So I could take this one. I could do that myself. I'm not going to. Let the zombie do that. There, see? Look. He's on his way back already. He's come over here. And there, we've got that one right there. So I could take that. And then in here, I got this. So I've got silver crates, zero. Gold crates, 11. Boxes of goods are 10. So silver crates are actually fairly poor. We want the gold ones. We want to build up and we want to get the gold quality ones. So a marketing campaign is what we want. We don't have any fame, but we can make some flyers. And then we could um, have a marketing campaign to get some more of these sold. I don't know how you sell. Uh, not really sure. Let's go back over this way anyway. And... That was another thing that I want to make, and I want to make soon is right. Uh, gold quality. We want. We need gold quality there. If we want money, we're going to want uh, gold quality. Um, no. The thing that I want to do. One of the next things is the random text generator right here. So I want four wooden planks and complex iron parts. If I can get that one going, that's going to allow us to create random books. I believe with the zombies and then we're not gonna have to worry about going over to the lighthouse anymore So we want to get a few wooden planks and some complex iron parts for that one And then we can use that for actually I'll just hold on to that because I'll get some more in a minute um, What have we got right so the silver star pumpkins I Could leave them. I've got onions there. Actually. I'm, I'm completely full now of everything Bronze star doesn't really do anything at all I've got a severe lack of space around here. This, this is my problem. So I have a major lack of space. I've got all this flour, look. And then, and then I've got some pastry dough. I've got a bit of bread. I've got ash there. Jugs of milk. Apples. Loads of beet. 
I need to do more cooking. I really do. I need to get more cooking done. And we've got burgers there. I'll be able to start making a load of them. Dough. Pastry dough. I'll tell you what. I could use up those. No point. I'll use up the eggs. Uh, sandwiches. Fish. Raw sliced meat. Let's just make that a minute. Take that raw sliced meat. And then drop it in here a minute. And just cook that one. So then... Nope, I'll leave that one. Come down to you down here. Drop those in. Right, now, what else do I want to leave behind? Oh, I wanted to take some of this stuff with me. Oh, the gold... No, not the, the, the silver pumpkins. I'll leave the silver pumpkins behind because we want the gold pumpkins. And if I can just, like, start doing gold seeds, we'll be able to make more money out of it. I'll, have to, I'll, I'll figure out what I'm trying to do there eventually. I'm not even sure I know what I'm trying to do there at the moment. Um, but no, I want to get some planks of wood. I've got some here somewhere. And complex iron parts, wasn't it? So we'll take those complex parts there. And then I should have some planks of wood over this way. If I haven't, I can set my dude making some. Uh, you know, there is actually a way. Right, I do have them. They are in this one. There we go. I don't know how many it was, so I'll just take the lot. Right, we'll drop the sermon off. I've already dropped the sermon off. I'll drop off some more peat compost there, and we'll leave those behind over in the other one. Uh, somewhere I've been leaving behind the... Where have I Where have I been leaving them? Right, I got fat in there. Ah, beeswax. I got So I've got two beeswax here now, and it's this lower one down here that I've left some of those in. That's fine. And then study. Have I got anything to study? You can study the fertilizer. That's not going to benefit me at all. I don't really need to study anything anymore. Got anything that's like going to get me the valuable blue points. Those are the ones that we need, is the blue points. Uh, no, I'm after flyers at the moment. That was the thing that we wanted to make. Uh, I make those on there. And also the random text generator. We've now got the bits for that, so... Ah. That is a very small machine. I can put two of them side by side. I'm going to drop one in there for a minute. We'll leave that one. And then let's go and have a look at this. Right. Book. A random book takes three clean paper. Story. Wait, what's this? Can be decomposed. I don't understand. A random story. Select object. Oh, it costs three paper. A random story costs three clean paper. A random book costs three of them. Let, let me do that a minute. Ah. Right, this is going to cost me three pieces of paper. Wait a minute. I'm, I'm pressing E for craft. I've got to have a zombie here to do it. It won't let me do it by myself. I have to have a zombie doing that. That's very cool. I, I really like that. That is a very cool little detail. I need 10 flyers, don't I, for the for the thing over in the, the merchant's thing. So I'll do five there, and then I'll do another five right there. And then I should... The, the pen and ink and stuff like that, that no, lo no longer stays in your inventory. That goes back into the other inventory now, which I think is really good. I want to come down here, and I need another zombie juice from here. So we want to make that one. Then we can resurrect another one of those into a working zombie. And we can put that onto the random text generator, which was the next thing that I wanted to really take a look at. Uh, so we can quickly work that one through there. And then we can quickly work the next one through, which is the fat. Um... I could run very quickly now and see the merchant, but I don't think there's much point at the moment. I don't think it's going to benefit us to run and see the merchant just yet. So we'll see what we can... Maybe we'll get that later on. I'm not quite sure. So we resurrect him right there. Take you and run back this way. I've got no energy left whatsoever now. I could eat something if I wanted to. That would work. So we bring you up this way and we'll put you on there. So he's now going to be crafting uh, stories and books. So it's a random quality story and a random book. It, it could be any type of book. So we can also have him um, crafting random stories there. And he'll make clean paper out of ruined books. 
uh, you can salvage a bit of paper from it. So I'll, I'll add in another one of those. So we've got two of those. And then we can always manufacture more paper later on. And he'll be able to do that. So we've got another thing there up and running. Which is looking pretty cool. That merchant is going to be gone by now, I would guess. I'm going to run over this way. Because he is only literally just over here. And it's here so much faster to run this way. So we've got some money in the chest right there. And we've... Yeah, he's gone. Fame... We've got one fame now. Take money. 750 for the silver crate. So we get a gold crate. We get 11. So it's definitely worth trying to build up to the gold crate. And if you look here... So we've got a marketing campaign right there. I've got one fame. I've got one fame right there. I need six flitches. You know, what? I've got one fame. No, I haven't. Maybe I need the marketing campaign to get that. Okay, so we'll do that. Ah, right. No, I got two. I got two fame now. Look up in the cut. It's got one spare. I got two there. So I've right. I got one fame, which is one pallet, and then I want another fame over here to use to increase that, which you've got to do the marketing campaign for. Right. Now I understand. Okay, so. We need some flitches for him to be able to work. And there is old Snakey Poos. Snakey Poos can stay right where he is. We're not going to interact with him today. We are going to go... I need to go to Witch Hill again. I need to do stuff up at Witch Hill as well. That's another thing that we need to work on. Now, how is our supply of stuff? We've got plenty of marble coming in. And we've also got lots of coal coming in. What have we got in the way of actual ore coming in now? I've got lots of that. i got lots of ore coming in. This is great. I had a severe lack of other stuff. So I'm going to go into there first. And I'm going to put in 100 coal into there. That's 1,800 fuel in that one. And then I'm going to go into here. And I'm going to do that. It's two minutes a pop. But there's 21 raw pieces of iron there for seven runs that's pretty good rate uh the rest they can carry on now that there, there's nothing else that i want to do for, oh actually there is good to you make me some flitches man make me some flitches well, well you can make me nine flitches in there nine lots of flitches you can do that while you're doing some of that i can go to sleep i love this i go in i put in some orders and then that's all I have to worry about. I don't need to, like, sweat and cry and everything else and, and drop and stomp my feet trying to get this stuff made. I don't need to worry about it anymore. It's nice and easy. Ever so easy. There, see? And I've already got some iron ingots right here. Uh, although I want to put the iron ingots in here. I don't want to be carrying them around with me. I do want those flitches. Well, so I've already got the other bit. It's just the flitches that I want. He's done. He's, he's already made all of the flitches. Now, uh, where has he put them? This, of course, is the, the difficult bit, is finding where they've put the stuff. So it's not in that trunk. It's not in that one. Look, we've got two gold there. I've got a lot of silver coming in, but not very much gold. I am wondering if the zombies can actually find gold. Does anybody know if zombies can find gold? Water pump has got a hundred water in there. Ah, that's a permanent supply of water, so we don't need to worry about actually having to go and get water anymore. That's very cool. Right, those flitches there, I think, are not in that one. Not in that one either. We've got two gold statues. We've got a bronze statue there. Not in that one. I think it's this one over here. Nope. You. Nope. Nope. <laughs> Finally, we found them. <laughs> that was brilliant. Uh, right, well, I don't want to take that many. So if I, if I put back uh, 107. There we go. Take 30 of them with me. And then I'm going to go get some more flyers, actually, so that we can boost that up. Because then I think that's, that would help us. So that we were able to make, like, multiple lots. Bring that down here, and we'll make some more peat, like this. There we go. I want another zombie in on there. And then, that's not ready, but this is ready to harvest. 
Those pumpkins right there. I got a whole load of pumpkins there. And then... Here I got another whole load of pumpkins and seeds as well. So I put silver ones in there. I've now got a load of gold ones. And I got three lots of silver ones. The silver ones, not so important anymore. It's the gold ones that we want. If we get the gold ones, we make a lot more money out of it. So that's the ones we want to kind of try and concentrate on if we can. I got another 12 silver pumpkins there. A load of silver pumpkins inside. So I'll, I'll make some soup or something with them, I think. Um, you, I don't actually need any more. You, I'm going to leave behind. The crop waste I'm going to leave behind. And the cabbages I'm going to leave behind as well. I don't want to be carting those around. Um, I don't know why I'm carrying that one around. I definitely don't need to be carrying that. Right. So, I oh, hang on. No, aren't I carrying... I'm, I'm carrying co uh, compost as well, which I don't want to be. So, we plant in here. I don't want that stuff. I want that in there. I want that quality fertilizer right there. And I don't want those. I want gold pumpkin seeds. And I'm hoping to do the same in here. I don't want you. I want that quality fertilizer there. And then I want gold pumpkin seeds in there. That's what I'm hoping for. Right. We'll leave that as it is. And we will come back to it again later. The rest of it will leave. I'm not going to worry about a zombie on the farm for a minute. Although, I guess we, we will want zombies on farms. Because we're going to be wanting to like grow loads of seeds. But I, I still want to upgrade the farm a bit more, I think. Uh, so we'll have to craft some more fertilizers to do that. So where else do I want to put a zombie for now? Where is it going to be most beneficial for me to have another zombie? I'm thinking the stone would be good up the top. That that would be beneficial a little bit. Uh, what did I want to leave here? Oh, that one. Right. I want to go back over to the merchant thing. And I can build some pallets. But before I do that, I want to go in here. Because I want to get some more flyers going. We can also, we can see what this zombie is doing, whether he's been able to actually manu... No, he's still got two. It's going to take him a long time to generate any, so I'm guessing that we want more than one of them to do that uh, generating. And I'll leave that behind there. And then I'll leave that behind there. Oh, I've also got all of that compost as well, haven't I? So I, I'll, I'll drop off all of the compost. Go into you. Leave that behind. Right, so I got the flitches and the complex iron parts. I don't need the complex iron parts, it's just the flitches. Nope, 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 nope. I nearly forgot. It's back here. Flyers. We wanna go, we wanna make flyers. So I wanna go into here. Uh pigskin paper first. Actually I can make pigskin no, that's uh, I've got a lack of bat wings at the moment, so let's make let's make a double lot with the skin from here. I'll do two lots here. There's one and there's the second. And we'll turn all of that into regular paper. Go down there. Clean paper. We've got six lots right. No, we've got eight. That's right there. 32 clean pieces of paper. We better use some of those for making the flyers. Bring that clean paper over here and dump it in there like that. And then we can go back down to here. And we go to this one. And then we want to make flyers. I have no pen and ink left. I have no pen and ink. So we're going to go back to you. We want to craft another one. That makes three pen and inks there. So I'll make one of those. And then we get all three pen and inks. I didn't realize we'd used up so many. It's quite impressive, actually, the number that we've used up there. So let's drop those in there. They don't get used up immediately. They, it uses a percentage of them when we make these. So we want to do that right there. And I'll work you. And I just want to see what percentage it does use up. So there's five flyers there. And, oh, it uses half of one pen and ink to be able to do that. Which is quite a lot, actually. Still, oh, we can craft a story right here. Now, I've got everything there. And I can only make a silver quality story. I can't make better than that. But it's this one right here. So this is one. I want to make two of these. I want to make two lots. So that's one lot right there. So now I need... Nope. Not notes. Nope. Flyer. Uh, there's another one. We don't have enough energy. It uses quite a bit of energy to do this. Let's eat some more of these carrot cutlets a minute. 
There's one and a half, and there's another. So we've got 20 flyers, which should then be enough to make two more um, pallets inside the merchant's house thingy over this way. At least I think this is how it works. So we come up into here. We can build right there. You've got the marketing campaign. I've got that pallet there that I can drop down. I can do a marketing campaign. See, that's given me extra, which means then I can use that to put another one of these down. And then I can do that, which gives me extra, so I can put another one of those down. So that's all you've got to do, really. And then I have a look in here. I don't have anything at the moment. I've got that one there. So I've got more pallets that I can put here, and then they sell once a week. I don't know what day of the week they sell. That's something I'm not sure about at the moment. That's something that we'll have to find out. So let's use this one and go straight back home a minute. And we'll come out of here. I want to make more pallets. We'll do silver ones at the moment, because I don't think we've got the ability to do any gold ones at all yet. Although I'm hoping we will have soon. Just go and have a look in here. And see what we've got in the way. of I got gold anything? I got loads of silver onions. I don't think I had any gold onions at all. No, I've got like the silver rings right there. Uh, I'll take those silver pumpkins out. And we'll also... We might take some of those. We've got lentils there. I'll, I'll take those silver lentils. And I've got more lentils in the garden. So we could go and harvest those. And then we've we've got more zombies that we'll be able to make soon. They're going to take a little while. It does take longer, right? And the main reason I'm not going to worry about them too much is because, like, the speeding it up or anything is be just because of the amount of time that it takes, right? I literally, I'm, I'm just being lazy. I can't be bothered to go and put more of that in. I want these quality fertilizer. I've just put that in. That's all I want to do, and then drop that in. Except, have I got gold? I have. I've got one gold right there. That's perfect. That's beautiful. That's amazing. That's fantastic. Uh, and then I want to go into here, and I want to get that one. Go. And then in here, I'll drop in those. And then this one right here. I'll do that. Done. And then plant. I'll go to you. I don't have any more. Right, i got nothing else to plant in there for a minute. These onions are now ready. So we'll take these up. Look at that. I got a gold quality seed from that one. And from here, I've got another gold quality seed. And then here, I've got another gold quality. So I got one gold quality seed from each of them. Which means that I will get more gold quality seeds. I got lots of those. I've got plenty of those. So there we can put that one in and that one. That's beautiful. That's much faster. Like that and like that. Yes, it takes a little bit longer to wait for them to grow. Quite frankly, I don't care. I am more than happy to wait just that little tiny little extra bit longer for them to grow. i got six of those. So I'll go and get some more of those. Actually, we, we can plant some of them. Uh, done. Oh, I've put in too much. Yeah, I want to go with lentil seeds. There. Done. So we've got lentils down here. And then we'll turn all of this here into more of this stuff. We're not getting new bodies coming in yet. That's something that we're going to work on later. So gold here. Right, I've got gold onion seeds. Not very many. Loads of silver lentils. Gold onions and lentils we're quite low on. And those as well. So I'm going to take out some of them a minute. And I'll put that in like that. We'll, we'll swap those round a bit. Uh, cabbages, they can come out. And then those can go back. Okay, this is this is a good way round, I think. 16. Yeah, that's going to make up one order. So we, we don't have any gold quality orders. I need more chests in here. That's another thing that we want is another trunk. So I want some nails and some simple iron parts. It's a shame we can't sell, uh, like, share things between these. It is a great shame that we can't do that. Right, we go to you, and we go to you, and we go to you. Right. Then we will go over to this one, and we will go on here. So I've got box of vegetables. That requires 20. That requires 22 onions. 22 gold star stuff as well. 22. The, I only need 20 of these. So let's do two of them, like that. 
Uh, work those through. I'll work those through for a minute. We can put a zombie on here, so the zombie will be able to do this later on. And... Oh, it doesn't automatically, like, put between the two. You, you've actually got to physically carry the vegetables between the two, so you can't, like, leave them making stuff forever. I think. I think that's how it works. Not 100% sure, but I do think we, we've got to, like, just carry the stuff through. But we want more chests in here in the garden. That's, that's definitely one thing that we're going to want. So if I go up this way and I grab that, I want nails and I want... There's nails and simple iron parts. I'll bring those back down this way. And we will bring... We'll use the nails and the simple iron parts to make some more chests for a start. So trunk right there. And... Oh, I have no flitches. Another zombie farm. I can't put one there. I can put one zombie farm there. And I could put another zombie farm there if I wanted to. Right, I'll put a zombie farm there. I might put something different in there. I'm not quite sure. But we'll, we'll go with just one more zombie farm for a minute. Let's not, over, let's not do any overkill for a minute. We, we've got a lot of work to do with uh, quite a number of different things. So I build you up. There, like that. And then I go to you as well. And I need to eat some more of my carrot cutlets. And then we've got a body, I think, one left down in the morgue from all the bodies that we were improving. And, oh, the, another thing that I want to do is I want to upgrade that one like that. So that one's upgraded. Then I'm going to want to upgrade both of them. Actually, I'm going to go for a third one. I'll do, I will do a third one up there. So we're going to want to upgrade. We're going to need more silver. We're going to need a bit of gold quality fertilizer, blah, blah, fertilizer as well. Um, we'll, we'll worry about that later. Right, we'll do one of these for now. I'll just do one, and we'll take it over and we'll bury it in the churchyard. And then, uh, others... Do I want to bury it in the churchyard? I wouldn't mind upgrading the churchyard a little bit, but at the same time, I do also want more zombies working. Right, I've got, I've got a lot of, um, tasks for zombies. I've, I've got all sorts of things lined up for them. Bring you back over here, and I'll drop that in there as well. Uh... Okay, I'm not going to worry about it at the moment. This one's going over to the graveyard. Because we've just about run out of time. So we take this one over here. We will plant it. I'm going to plant it over on that side. Because that's, uh, we, we've got those graves open. And anything over this side is good. Because it starts getting rid of some of these minus twos that we've got everywhere. Which I think is a wonderful thing. There, so we've already got rid of the minus two. So then I can go on to there and I can put a grave fence on. I've got lots of these. Marble grave fence twos. So put that one onto there. And run out of energy. So let's eat another carrot cutlet. And do that. There we go. So that's plus five on there. It's actually plus seven. We've gone plus seven on the graveyard. So that's 282. That's why we got less money this time. Because we removed all of this stuff from the graveyard. And that's going to take... It's going to take a while for us to sort of get through all of that. We'll come back. We're going to have another good session on the graveyard fairly soon. But anyway, that is all we've got time for today. So if you've enjoyed this episode, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.